say the last time we spoke, I had gotten my implants, I think maybe a couple of weeks out. And um, I'm doing well. The recovery was pretty easy and physically so much better than the expanders. Um, that was the beginning of August. and the end of August, uh, my mom got diagnosed with ovarian cancer and that kind of set back when I was going to have my next surgery because I put things on hold a couple of weeks. So I recently just had a surgery about two and a half weeks ago and that was specifically to address the scar that I um, ended up having after the burn. And I think initially Dr. Jacobs really wanted to be able to fix that scar during some other surgeries and he even had say it said well I'll just get that when we do you know the exchange surgery or I'll try to do it when we do the nipple surgery however he realized the burn was so extensive that he was afraid it might change the center of the breast mound so he opted to just make it a separate surgery and allow me to heal so that when he did go back for, for the nipple reconstruction, he could make sure they were centered. Um, I wasn't really happy about having an extra surgery. Um, in fact, I was angry and I cried and I was thinking, you have gotta be kidding me. Um, but I know he's a perfectionist and I'm not gonna come this far and not have a good result. So I guess I'm glad and the scar looks great. I mean, actually there's no scar other than what is left that's on the other side. I mean, both sides look the same now and I'm amazed really. Um, and I guess I'm glad he did it that way. I'm just kind of over it. I'm just over this. I'm just over it. I mean, it's been too long and I've shed a lot of tears about, you gotta be kidding me. Um, but we're almost done, <laughs> thank God. When I went into this process, they said, you know, three months, a three month process. This is about a three month process. Well, boy, have I like blown that timeline. And the other night I said, I'm so over it. I used to be anxious about this nipple reconstruction and I'm so not anxious anymore. And I was counting up the months in my head and I'm like, it's been nine months and a week and Anyone, any woman that has had a child knows that when they first find out they're pregnant, they're so nervous about the delivery and they're kind of consumed about it. And I was, and you're like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And about the end of nine months, you're like, I don't care. Give me the baby. Let's go into labor. I don't care where I go. And that's been the same thing. It's been nine months. I mean, this is enough. Let's just do it. I'm not anxious about the nipple reconstruction anymore. I just want the nipple reconstruction to happen. The next step for me is um, a doctor's appointment next week. I'll go to Dr. Jacobs' office and he'll just make sure the swelling, there was some bruising where he removed the scar and we're gonna schedule the nipple reconstruction, which is really a two-phase process. He does the first part in his office and um, he does the second st stage in the OR. I wish I could tell you that wasn't the case, but anyway, and um, as far as I'm concerned, that just having the nipple constructed is going to be as far as in my mind it will be over but there's tattooing of course that will come but that's cosmetic um and is done in the office and it's not a big deal so i'm hoping in the next three weeks we'll start the first phase um if not sooner i know many people may view this video and those that I've talked to and friends even feel like that this was a really extreme measure to take. Um, but I know that I was convicted about it from the very beginning and in light of the developments that have taken place in the last two months with my mother, it, it was the right decision for me. It, it just was. And I don't feel like I really have to explain that and, and I don't want women to feel like they have to explain it. I mean, a woman should not have to explain the choices that she makes about her own body. That's her choice. And I, I guess I didn't know when I started this process what, how I was going to feel about it at the end, but if anything, I want women to know that 
you have to be in charge of what goes on. You have to be your own advocate. And you need to know that BRCA negative does not mean no cancer.